Exam Booster for First and First for Schools by Helen Chilton, Sheila Dignan, Mark Fountain, and Francis Trelaw. Copyright Cambridge University Press and Cambridge English Language Assessment 2017. Track 1 Listening Part 1 Worksheet 1 You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions 1 to 8, choose the best answer. A, B or C. Question 1. You hear a woman telling her son about her favourite school teacher. Did you have a favourite teacher at school, Mum? Good question. I remember we had this history teacher, Mr Evans. I was fascinated by the way he taught. He was just so into history. I could listen to him talk for hours and everything he said would stick with me even if I didn't write anything down. Sometimes he'd read an account of an event aloud and although he was no actor, somehow I felt like I'd gone right back in time to when the action was happening. He was pretty serious. I don't remember laughing the way I did in other classes, but I loved every minute. Now listen again. Did you have a favourite teacher at school, Mum? Good question. I remember we had this history teacher, Mr Evans. I was fascinated by the way he taught. He was just so into history. I could listen to him talk for hours and everything he said would stick with me even if I didn't write anything down. Sometimes he'd read an account of an event aloud and although he was no actor, somehow I felt like I'd gone right back in time to when the action was happening. He was pretty serious. I don't remember laughing the way I did in other classes, but I loved every minute. Question 2. You hear a girl talking about maths. People often ask why I like maths so much and if I find it easy. Well, no, I don't. But if it wasn't a challenge, I wouldn't be half as excited about it. I can spend hours working on a single maths problem. I don't give up till I've got the right answer. And that's the great thing about maths. It's either right or wrong. If you work hard enough, you can always get 100% and that's so satisfying. Some mathematicians talk about how maths is everywhere, that it's relevant to everything you do in life. But I just love it for its own sake. Now listen again. People often ask why I like maths so much and if I find it easy. Well, no, I don't. But if it wasn't a challenge, I wouldn't be half as excited about it. I can spend hours working on a single maths problem. I don't give up till I've got the right answer. And that's the great thing about maths. It's either right or wrong. If you work hard enough, you can always get 100% and that's so satisfying. Some mathematicians talk about how maths is everywhere, that it's relevant to everything you do in life, but I just love it for its own sake. Question 3. You hear a man telling a friend about being unable to study art at school. Is there a subject you wish you'd taken at school but didn't? Yes, art. We didn't have the option to take that. The focus tended to be on more academic subjects then. You know, science, maths. I'm a bit annoyed about it now. I've always been into painting. Not that I ever considered making a living from becoming an artist. I've always wanted to be an engineer. But it would have been useful to learn stuff like knowing how to apply different paints properly when I was younger. I love the skill in those amazing old paintings you can see hanging in galleries. Now listen again. Is there a subject you wish you'd taken at school but didn't? Yes, art. We didn't have the option to take that. The focus tended to be on more academic subjects then. You know, science, maths. I'm a bit annoyed about it now. I've always been into painting. Not that I ever considered making a living from becoming an artist. I've always wanted to be an engineer. But it would have been useful to learn stuff like knowing how to apply different paints properly when I was younger. 
I love the skill in those amazing old paintings you can see hanging in galleries. Question 4. You hear two students discussing a sports class they have just attended. What did you think of that sports class? It made a change from actually playing sports, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It was interesting to consider the theoretical side of sport for once. All that detail about the psychology of winning was a new angle on things. Mr Banks is a great teacher. He'd done tonnes of research, hadn't he? He had. I'm not sure I'll put what we talked about into practice, though. I'm highly unlikely to become a professional athlete. Me neither. Though I could see some of the others in the class looked pretty eager to get out there and try some of the techniques. Now listen again. What did you think of that sports class? It made a change from actually playing sports, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It was interesting to consider the theoretical side of sport for once. All that detail about the psychology of winning was a new angle on things. Mr Banks is a great teacher. He'd done tonnes of research, hadn't he? He had. I'm not sure I'll put what we talked about into practice, though. I'm highly unlikely to become a professional athlete. Me neither. Though I could see some of the others in the class looked pretty eager to get out there and try some of the techniques. Question 5. You hear a girl telling a friend about her brother. Hasn't your brother got a place at university? Yes, he has. He's going to study physics. Is he looking forward to it? I think on the whole he's pretty enthusiastic about going on to the next step. I get the impression he isn't quite as confident as I'd have expected him to be about getting to know the others on the course. I don't think it's that he thinks they'll be better than him at the subject or anything like that. But there's something. Maybe it's just nerves. Anyway, once he starts classes, he's going to be so busy with work that I'm sure whatever's bothering him now will fade away. Now listen again. Hasn't your brother got a place at university? Yes, he has. He's going to study physics. Is he looking forward to it? I think on the whole he's pretty enthusiastic about going on to the next step. I get the impression he isn't quite as confident as I'd have expected him to be about getting to know the others on the course. I don't think it's that he thinks they'll be better than him at the subject or anything like that. But there's something. Maybe it's just nerves. Anyway, once he starts classes, he's going to be so busy with work that I'm sure whatever's bothering him now will fade away. Question 6. You hear a student talking to his teacher about an assignment. Can I have a word about the English assignment you've set us? Yes, of course you can. We have to write a blog about something which interests us. I don't know much about the ideas you gave us, so would you mind if I did something different? Not at all. The main thing is that you've got some experience of what you're writing about. I do, but I need to do some background reading online. The other thing is, I've never done anything like this, so I don't know how formal the language should be. OK. Let me give you the address of a website which will help. Great. Thanks. Now listen again. Can I have a word about the English assignment you've set us? Yes, of course you can. We have to write a blog about something which interests us. I don't know much about the ideas you gave us, so would you mind if I did something different? Not at all. The main thing is that you've got some experience of what you're writing about. I do, but I need to do some background reading online. The other thing is, I've never done anything like this, so I don't know how formal the language should be. OK. Let me give you the address of a website which will help. Great. Thanks. Question 7. You hear a science teacher talking to her class. OK, everyone, listen up. Now, I've become aware that there's been a bit of a misunderstanding about where we're holding our science classes while the labs are being repainted. They won't be in the main hall, as some of you seem to think, but in the school gym. 
obviously, we won't be able to carry out any chemistry experiments or practical work in there, but it's a temporary situation. We'll be able to spend a bit of time on some theory instead. I'm optimistic that this will be a good use of our time as it'll give you the chance to clarify anything you've been having difficulties with in class. Now listen again. OK, everyone, listen up. Now, I've become aware that there's been a bit of a misunderstanding about where we're holding our science classes while the labs are being repainted. They won't be in the main hall, as some of you seem to think, but in the school gym. Obviously, we won't be able to carry out any chemistry experiments or practical work in there, but it's a temporary situation. We'll be able to spend a bit of time on some theory instead. I'm optimistic that this will be a good use of our time as it'll give you the chance to clarify anything you've been having difficulties with in class. Question 8. You hear two friends discussing learning foreign languages. A lot of British people can't see the point of learning foreign languages when people in other countries speak English, but I think that shows a lack of understanding. Me too. You get more out of a language class than the words themselves. Like understanding other countries' way of life and their history. And their values, even. Exactly. It's true people do speak English around the world, so it's not strictly necessary to know other languages. But you get more out of a trip if you know a few words. Yeah, there's a limit to how much you can communicate by trying to act out your ideas. Now listen again. A lot of British people can't see the point of learning foreign languages when people in other countries speak English, but I think that shows a lack of understanding. Me too. You get more out of a language class than the words themselves. Like understanding other countries' way of life and their history. And their values, even. Exactly. It's true people do speak English around the world, so it's not strictly necessary to know other languages, but you get more out of a trip if you know a few words. Yeah, there's a limit to how much you can communicate by trying to act out your ideas. <laughs>